What happened to her? She's dead. What happened to her? She killed herself. I don't know. That is Elizabeth Moss starring as Offred in The Handmaid's Tale, the water cooler hit series that streams on Hulu. The show has been nominated for 13 Emmys, and Moss very well may leave tonight's awards as the outstanding lead actress in a drama. The Handmaid's Tale is based on a 1985 dystopian novel of the same name. The show is set in modern times where a religious totalitarian government has seized control and women have been subjugated into a form of slavery. The Handmaid's Tale is the follow-up for Moss to her breakout role as Peggy Olsen on Mad Men. One critic said recently of the actress, her very presence on a show is a guarantee of quality. Elizabeth and I got together for a Sunday sit-down at one of her favorite spots, P.J. Clark's here in New York City. Please let me out, that's my daughter! Anna! Elizabeth Moss is attracted to a certain kind of role. Anna! I do look for characters that have something to overcome or a right. challenge or some sort of dramatic arc. If it was a character just like walking around and having a great day for six hours, it'd be super boring. <laughs> Boring is not a word anyone will apply to the dark world of The Handmaid's Tale. Since its premiere in April, the series has become a cultural phenomenon. What do you think it is about this show that caught fire? The show has an incredible relevance right now, obviously. I never think that it's any one thing that makes a project good. It's the writing, it's the sets, it's the directors, it's the props, it's costumes, it's everything. <laughs> Some viewers and critics see a glimmer of modern reality in the show's themes. Did you see that right away, or is that something that's happened after the fact in terms of some connection to the current climate? A bit of both. You know, I think we saw the parallels early, and then obviously when the election happened, it became really in your face. And since then, has there been a lot of moments when we have felt like, you know, you read an article and you're like, Jesus, that's like from the show. It's amazing how it's become this cultural touchstone in such a short period of time. You had Hillary Clinton talking about it. This show has prompted important conversations about women's rights and autonomy. You will bear children for them. You try to make a, a, an entertaining television show, you know, and sometimes that's all it is. But when you can do something that you also feel passionately about and also hits upon things that feel very personal to you, it's that much more gratifying. Moss grew up in a Los Angeles home filled with music. Her parents were professional musicians, but she dreamed of being a ballet dancer. At the age of 12, Moss moved to New York to study at the Lincoln Center School of American Ballet. This is uh, my old haunt. Ballerina life is one of intense commitment, especially if you want to take it to this level. Oh, yes. You got to live and breathe it. It's something that you have to want 1,000%. Did you always feel like I'm going to be a performer of some kind? Yeah, for sure. For sure. It would have been like weird to become a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> My family would have been like, why? What are you doing? That's a lot of work. What happened to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, they would have supported me regardless, I'm sure. But yeah, I, I just grew up in a very artistic kind of household. So it was, it was always going to be something like that. And you weren't listening to like the pop music that the rest of us were listening to, I understand, right? Yeah, that's true. Like little Gershwin maybe? Oh my god, totally. Yeah. Like when I was 12, like Gershwin was everything for me. I was such a nerd in that way. That child is going to be a star. While she was dancing, Moss also tried out acting and landed a role with Bette Midler in the movie Gypsy. Eventually, Moss left behind ballet to be a full-time actress. At 17, she was chosen for the role of the president's daughter, Zoe Bartlett, on the long-running hit series, The West Wing. Dad. Starting tomorrow. I'm starting college in a month. The West Wing taught me what a set is supposed to be like, those guys. I mean, they were so professional, funny, always, everything was always done with a sense of humor. Who are you? I'm Peggy Olsen, the new girl. But it was her next role. Morning, girl that would make Elizabeth Moss a household name. Peggy. She auditioned to play a secretary in a new show about the male-dominated smoking and drinking 1960s Here's advertising out. world Here's. called Mad Men. She never dreamed she would get the job. 
everybody wanted to audition for it. Everybody wanted to like be in it. I just remember doing the audition and just kind of loving that character right away. Just right away. My secretary doesn't respect me because I make $71 more a week than she does. Maybe we need to get you a cheaper secretary. Over seven seasons, Peggy Olsen became a fan favorite as she blazed a path from secretary to copy girl to ad executive. There may be chaos, um, but there's family supper at Burger Chef. That's beautiful. I always wanted to approach it not as a girl in the 60s, but I wanted women to identify with her regardless of, of what decade it was. We're going to be engaging in a role play. During her run on Mad Men, Elizabeth also starred as a detective on the acclaimed show Top of the Lake. The role earned her a Golden Globe for Best Actress. You're really looking at me. Nicole Kidman joins the show for its new second season. There's an intensity and a, and a darkness to the show that's good. Yeah. But where does it go next? It feels almost more film noir, this one, which I love. And, and it is darker and more complicated. She does whatever she likes. So do I. Ah! Ah! Moss is open about her career, but she keeps her personal life personal. She was married briefly to former Saturday Night Live star Fred Armisen, and her faith has been something of a curiosity to her fans. Moss is a member of the Church of Scientology. She was raised in the controversial religion whose celebrity adherents have been the focus of attention and criticism. Do you feel like you have to explain at all your faith to people or is that just something you'd rather just put to the side and, and keep private? I'm always happy to have a personal conversation with somebody off the record, but, uh, but in this kind of scenario, no. Do you ever feel like you've been judged in Hollywood? Obviously your career is going well, it hasn't hurt you much. I feel like I've done okay. <laughs> yeah, that's I feel like it's all right. But you, you don't feel that in Hollywood. I mean, I honestly don't pay much attention to anything except for what people think of my work. That work also happens now behind the camera. Elizabeth is a hands-on executive producer of The Handmaid's Tale. Every actor I've ever talked to who tries directing and producing says, I can't go back now. Yeah. I, like, now I had some control and I had say and everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel that way? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. They've created a monster. We've got to get you in like a rom-com or something, just to take a little deep breath. I know. Maybe you That's and like Sandler like. or something. I know. That's what I like to watch. Is that true? Yeah, those are all my favorite. I love rom-coms. Like, those are my favorite movies. You just don't like to be in them. Nobody wants me to be in them. What? I feel like I've said no. It's not like Sandra Bullock's called and I've been like, no. <laughs> like, no one's like, <laughs> like, I would love to. Are you kidding? Well, let's get you in a rom-com. Yeah, that would be awesome. And who is Elizabeth's dream co-star in that TBD romantic comedy, you ask? Ryan Gosling is her first choice. Until that comes together, season one of The Handmaid's Tale is streaming now on Hulu with another season in the works as we speak. And season two of Top of the Lake airs now on Sundance TV and is also available on Hulu. To see what I could get out of Elizabeth about season two of The Handmaid's Tale, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.